you really look at this Michigan team right now, they're the deepest they've been in a long time. An experience. In a long time. They got experience. And I was watching the Stanford-Colorado game. I didn't know two, two offensive linemen transferred from Stanford, Stanford yeah. who are now starting on Michigan's football team. Mm -hmm. So it is new. They're coming together. P.J. Fleck came out and basically just gave them all the highest praise you could give them. I think Michigan, this team just feels different. When it feels different, I'm talking about the playoffs. I think this team is good enough to go win a game in the playoffs. I mean, <laughs> Michigan right now overall looks like the best team in college football. Well, I mean, David, they, they, I, I agree. I picked them to win it. I'm, I'm glad. But this Michigan team should be comfortable because they've been to the playoff twice. One time, you just got big-dogged by Georgia, and the second time, you lost to a team you were better than, so they've been through all the ranges yep. of how to lose there. I mean, you would think this, this team's... I watched them again. Indiana had that little wide receiver, you know, ran that trick play, little wide receiver throwback um, off the stock, and after that, M Michigan just, like, in never. I caught a lot of hell because the line was 33, 34. I was like, they're like, Michigan's not... A lot of them, Michigan's not going to cover this line. I was like, okay, just wait. Michigan's Watch. like that... When I watch, they're just like a tsunami that's that's coming toward the beach. Like it's, but before it hits, you may have some time to run around and move around. But once it gets to shore, like it doesn't stop. Like they, they get that little bit of blood in the water. Uh, they're like a, a great white man. They can smell it from two miles away. And once once they get you, they just, does it remind you a little bit of Georgia from a couple years ago where they would just squeeze you out? Of course. They reminded me of Georgia a couple years ago. They, they, this is their identity for the last few seasons. The, the thing now is rise to the occasion. If you get that moment, right? You lay, like, if you don't think the Buckeyes want to come in, having lost the last two years, and beat them in Ann Arbor. Oh, for sure. Rise to that occasion. Make sure, Because if you don't win that game, you can't win the division, right? That's yeah, the yeah. way it's looked like it's been going. You don't win the division, it's going to be tough well, to win. Well, they're not the playing down to the playoff. competition either, which is refreshing. It's something, yeah, Absolutely. exactly. And, 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 hey, the Michigan State this week, rivalry game on the road. I mean, Michigan yeah. is what, <laughs> <laughs> clearly better than them, right? A better football team than them. Yeah. I've seen that. I've been able to say that same sentence before and watch Michigan lose to Dude, them. They so. blew it against Rutgers. Dude, that Rutgers oh my game was God. Ins that Rutgers game was insane. Yeah. Insane. I'm telling you, this is, y'all going to walk these boys. And this shows you all the difference that not only the depth, I mean, you've done the hard part on building up this roster, but getting the right guy at quarterback. Yeah. When you have JJ McCarthy at quarterback, it opens up so much for you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. If you get a chance, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you turn on that notification bell, It'll let you know whenever we're making any predictions or dropping any content. So follow along with us.